There is a huge burnished metal door erected by the first that is heavy as sin, three times the height of a man and half that distance in width. It is a full cubit thick and bears a head size ring of brass, a complicated pressure plate lock, and an inscription that reads roughly, Go away! This is not a place to be. If you try to enter here, you will fail and also be cursed. If somehow you succeed, then do not complain that you entered unwarned, nor bother us with your deathbed prayers. Signed, The Gods. A quick recap. In the previous adventure, the characters opened the door to Hellwell and walked down the corridor into the massive cavern. The hallways are massive. In the map, each hex is 50 feet across. The party walks in about 100 feet and then the corridor turns slightly to the right. As they walk down this corridor, they get to the end and there is a pressure plate covering the entire floor from wall to wall. And when they step on the pressure plate, it opens the passage behind them. It opens up the floor, the entire 150 feet long, and it drops the party into a pit a hundred feet deep with poison spikes. If they survive that, then they continue down the hallway a bit till it opens up yet another trap. This trap is subtly different. What happens is the front part of the party, again the Pressure, you step on a pressure plate and it opens up the entire floor, but the front piece of the party goes down a chute to level two. And the back part of the party goes down a chute to level three. It's hard to say which is more dangerous, probably level three, but it, that's just the way it is. If you manage to survive past that, then you continue down the hallway uh, a distance through the cavern. You notice that the cavern, though, is not exactly straight, and it continues on for quite a distance. And then it opens up into the massive central chamber. The central chamber at this level is 500 feet across. In the darkness, you can't see across the chamber, but you hear in the distance flapping of wings, chains rattling, and other unidentifiable noises. The corridor takes a turn and you see a slowly corkscrew-like uh, path winding down into the depths of Hellwell at a 15% grade. So you slowly walk down to the first opening on the right. You peer into its darkness and you really can't see. It's The scale is so massive here that you can't see that far. So you have to continue down this at least 150 feet before you suddenly realize the corridor branches to the left and right. You take the left branch and you slowly move forward and you see something in the center of the hallway off in the distance and you creep forward. You're carefully looking to see what's going on and it looks like a large wheel of cheese sitting in the middle of the, of the pathway and you inch your way forward to the wheel of cheese and you barely make out in the dust on the floor something 
under the cheese and you slowly inch forward and you're not sure what to think when you suddenly realize it's a huge mouse trap baited with cheese and as you're examining this massive mass mouse trap you notice that the room is larger than a football field it's massive in scale and out of the darkness comes charging at your party two mains which are demons and a pitched battle ensues and you fight the mains and you finally kill them and you find on the mains each one each demon is wearing a necklace and has a bag tied in a loose cord around its waist so you look at the amulet that they're wearing and it appears to be made of silver and it has glowing eyes of a demon on the pendant so what do you do do you take the pendant or not it appears to be worth something if you detect magic you get a sense from the amulet that it is some sort of uh, identification device and if you spend enough time you'll determine that the amulets are detect good they warn the wearer of something good coming their way and the bags that they have each of the demons have also have a slight hint of magic not the bags but their contents you open the bags up and the, in them is a pile of silver coins each coin is a little bit smaller than your average coin and it's a bit thicker so you can't really pass them off also the coins have no hint of tarnish on them at all and on the front of them and on the back is the head of a demon and you swear but you can't confirm in the torchlight or whatever light you're using that the eyes of the demons seem to glow and follow you as you look at the coins the coins are magical they don't melt their blasphem it's blasphemy to try and use one of these coins to purchase anything because you're not supposed to be here this is a, a blasphemous act to come in to Hellwell and the coins can't easily spent they have to be melted down but the magical spell on the coins makes it much harder you have to have a much hotter furnace to melt the coins and so thus ends the first room that you've entered in Hellwell. Thank you. I look forward to hearing what you think about this video. Particularly, do you like this style of video? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down. I appreciate either. If you're new here and want to subscribe, there you can click on the icon on the left. Or if you're interested, there's some more content on the right. Thank you.